Today, the peloton enjoyed soaring temperatures and a long stage seven before the return to the mountains. The riders departed Troyes with 213 kilometers ahead, finishing in Nuit Saint-Georges. The intermediate sprint on the menu in Chanceau before the climb of the Côte de Sea and a final roll through the Burgundy vineyards to Sabre. The first arrival of the Tour in Nuit Saint-Georges should give the sprinters their final outing before some hard climbing ahead. Again, the attack formed early. Four men are at the front from kilometre zero, ready to spend a long day ahead. The four men combined, united in the dream of staying ahead and winning at the finishing line. At the front, we find the Italian Manuele Mori of UAE, the Dutchman Dylan van Baal of Cannondale, two Frenchmen, Johan Jean of Direct Energy and Maxime Bouet of Fortunea Oscaro. They created a significant gap in the first hour of the race, spinning at 44 kilometers an hour average. Manuel Mori clinched the intermediate sprint ahead of Bouet. In the peloton, it was Sonny Cobrelli that dominated. On a day of little difficulty, young Slovenian time trial sensation Primoz Roglic unfortunately endured his second crash of the race. As they crested the Côte de Sea, Maxim Bue picked up maximum King of the Mountains points. But as in previous days, the same scenario played out. A surge by the teams of the sprinters brought the race together with six kilometres remaining. That set off a stunning run to the line, the peloton hitting 75 kilometres an hour. The sprint was opened by Norwegian Bosenhagen with a final flourish. Marcel Kittel scored his third win in a tight photo finish. Marcel Kittel took victory in the vineyards. His team deserved the corks to pop tonight after taking him perfectly to the finish. This signals a hat-trick of wins for the German powerhouse in the first week of racing. It's an incredible success. I'm really, really proud of that. Um, I'm in a great shape. I'm super happy that the team supported me so well today. I think we did a good lead out. We believed in this, um, in this chance, in this victory, and it's just uh, crazy. More celebration for Marcel Kittel, edging Edvald Bosenhagen into second place and Michael Matthews in third. As we head into the mountains, Chris Froome still leads this race. No change in the overall classification. Tomorrow, the tour takes to the heights again and approaches the Jura in a weekend of torment in the mountains, with a final tough climb on stage eight to Lerus Station. Showdown Saturday is now here.